Hey, what's up everybody? It's Meredith with Svelte Training and we have Coach Sam here today and we are making sweet potato fries. A little bit of sweet, a little bit of savory, and a little bit of not a lot of bit on your waistline. Does that make sense to you? I think. I think so. What it means is we're not having actual potatoes, we're having something that's better than actual potatoes. It's sweet potatoes. It's still potatoes, kind of. Yeah. It's like fries. It's gonna taste really great. Really simple recipe, so I'm gonna let Sam show you how to do all this because if you guys have seen my other recipes, when there's anything sticky, anything you have to cut, I just make a huge mess. So I'm gonna let somebody else do it, and then I'll talk about all the ingredients instead. <laughs> all right, we'll start with the sweet potato. So tell me some fun facts about sweet potato. So as we're cutting this, make sure you don't cut off your finger first. Um, we're cutting these into small spear-like uh, shapes because we're trying to do fries. So sweet potatoes are really high in antioxidants. You see this orange color gives it that carotenoid so that is going to help reduce inflammation and it gives it that nice orange color. As you're cutting this, you can leave the skin on, you can take the skin off, whatever you prefer. I think it's higher in nutrients if you leave the skin. But what you're gonna wanna do is scrub the sweet potatoes before because these are actually in the ground, right? It's a root. So, so when dirty. you take it out, it's dirty. It's got all these like weird little hairs on it. I would just scrub it with a sponge. Then you can cut it up, make it in these fries. And then we also have our famous, if you saw our earlier recipe on our channel with Grace, is our cinnamon honey. So you can do one of two things. You can buy cinnamon honey, which is a thing, or you can get cinnamon and you put honey, or the other way around, get honey and put cinnamon and just let it sit in the fridge overnight. So when it sits in the fridge overnight, what it's gonna do is actually meld these flavors together. So you're not only getting the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties of the actual honey, but when you mix it with cinnamon, it helps reduce blood sugar levels. So if you have regular fries, that's potato, right? That is going to bump up those blood sugar levels. So it's not really great for someone who has diabetes or has overall weight issues because it's going to boost up those blood sugar levels, which actually makes your body hold on to more fat. So what we wanna do is give you something that still tastes amazing, but doesn't actually add anything to your waistline or hurt your health in general. So really simple. You're gonna be cutting up sweet potatoes just like Sam is doing into these spears. Then you're just drizzling the cinnamon honey. Okay. A lot of restaurants also have sweet potato fries as an alternative instead of french fries. So it's, this is true. It's also a nice way to still treat yourself while you're out. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> so that tastes good. Yeah. You can also do carrot fries. Carrot Ooh, fries are really good. So, good. so there's like, this could be a very versatile recipe for a lot of different kinds of foods, but we're doing sweet potatoes today. So really simple. Put it in the oven for how long? At what temperature? Okay. So we're, we're putting it in at 450 and we're gonna put it in about 10 minutes. Um, kind of the same with butternut squash. You have to check on it to make sure that it's actually getting tender um, and it's giving that nice golden brown look on the fry. You don't want anything mushy because then you're just frying mash. You can have potato. like mashed potato and stuff. Yeah. Um, so but... it probably still tastes the same, but it doesn't give you the same mental stimulation, like you're having a French fry, which I think people are like, I really like fries. I'm like, well, do you like the thought of having fries? Cause let's just do sweet potato fries instead. So I think we put three small sweet potatoes on here. Um, obviously that's a big serving size. They're gonna cook down too, right? So they're gonna shrivel up. So what I'm trying to say is don't eat the entire pan um, because Anything sharing in, is caring. In big amounts <laughs> is actually not good for you either. So we wanna make sure that one, you're regulating your portion control, but it's just a great alternative to regular french fries. So after you cut all these up, put it on the cinnamon honey, you can actually, after you pull it out, put a little bit of sea salt so you get like the sweet and savory, it's so good, or black pepper. All of the ingredients that you want on there, it doesn't really matter. Any spice that you want to put on is gonna be good for this recipe. Just, just gonna put some more of this on just to make sure that you guys are actually seeing this honey goodness. Honey is just an amazing thing to add to any recipe. Gives it the natural sweetness and, sorry, yeah, that's, <laughs> put it on your hand and lick it. It's whatever you want to do. Kind of like a bear, right? You just like stick your hand in the honey hole. Is that what they say? I'm just gonna let Sam do the rest of this because I just, when I get into these, I mean, you've seen my recipes with Grace. It's just, when I do something, it doesn't look as good. Um, I don't You're know selling yourself short. Mom. See, she did the clump. Do you see this clump? I'm just yes. gonna put this on record. There's a large clump of honey here, and it wasn't my fault. Nope. Sam did it, not me. It's kind of heavy, too, because it's, it's got the cinnamon in it. That's another clump right there. Yeah. Well, we can toss it. 
<laughs> Doesn't look as pretty though. This looks like a restaurant style where it's like doing art. I'm not an artist either, so. I don't know what I have going for me. I'm just a mom. <laughs> so, right. pop them in the oven. Do it. Wait until they're nice, golden, and brown. That honey is going to caramelize on those fries, and it's going to be a delicious side for anything that you want for the holidays, for a burger, for summertime, anything that you're interested in. Awesome. Substituting. How long do we put it in for? We put it in for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll give it a check and we'll come back and see what they look like. So let's fast forward. Surprise. Um, <laughs> all right, so we have our sweet potato fries ready. They smell so good. We didn't burn them because I'm not alone in this recipe. That's why we didn't burn them. But Sam's gonna grab them out and then we're gonna take a look. They're really hot. I'm gonna put them down because we don't want to ruin this nice white countertop. Ooh, the honey might have gotten a little bit burnt, but... Not really, just caramelized. Put it on here? Yep. Ooh, it's hot. Don't touch it. I want to touch it. Don't touch it. Um, They're going to stick to it just because of the honey. But this is parchment paper, right? So yeah, it should be so pretty good. Mm. The longer that you let them sit, they'll get a little bit crunchy, so they won't be as, like, wobbly at the moment. Um, they look delicious. They so do. you could use these, like I said, you could use, it was probably hot, lava, no. lava on the inside. About to burn your mouth. It's delicious though. She's burning, she's not saying anything. <laughs> I have no doubt later. Um, so you could put some sea salt on here, sweet and salty, it's awesome. Use it with uh, like a paleo style burger, you could use it as a snack, whatever you wanna do. Like Sam said, let them sit out and they will crunch up a little bit. But that's what we got going. Our sweet potato fries, amazing recipe to swap out for regular fries. If you guys like it, like this, if I could speak. If you guys <laughs> like this, make sure you check out all of our other videos. Hit like, share it with somebody, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.